Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Larry, and today we are looking at the first figure in Wave 10 of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Zeo Yellow Ranger, aka Zeo Ranger 2 Yellow, aka Tanya. And as you see, we're taking a quick look at the packaging. Beautiful render on the back. This, this artwork's always been really nice and consistent, so I mean, some of them are hit or miss with some color, de you know, deviations. You got your all the stuff on the bottom, regional stuff. But let's go ahead and get her open and see what's inside. And here she is out of her packaging, all of her glory. We are going to take a quick look at all the sculpted detail and a bit of the paintwork. And as you can see, I'm having a hard time focusing this new setup, trying to get the lighting right. There we go. And as you can see, has some nice molded detail, beautifully done gold paint around the chest and the gloves and the boots and the belt. Yes, very nicely done. I do love the details in the Zeo suits, always have. I'm gonna take a quick look at some articulation. As per usual, we got the ball joint at the head with the hinge, as you can see. So you can look left and right and up and down. You can see, you can also see the uh, butterfly joints in the shoulders, but you also got your hinge at the shoulder so you can go up and down. Yep, up and down, and of course, you know, forward, back. Got a single joint at the elbow with a swivel at the elbow. No cut at the gloves. So no swivel at the gloves, which is fine. Keep fixing the lighting. The focus. Focus. You got your swivel at the waist, or the torso there. Or you got your swivel at the wrist and hinge at the wrist, which as soon as I pull it over, it wants to pop the hand out. And I'm having trouble getting it back in. Really tight on this figure. And as you can see, there is a hinge for an ab crunch, but again, very tight. So be careful and try to heat it up a little bit. With some hot water or something. You got your ball joints at the hips. And you see the skirt does hinder a little bit, but there are cuts in the skirt. It is a very pliable plastic. But it's not going to help much for the side. You do have your thigh cut. Double jointed knees. Again, very tight on my figure. So be careful when you get yours. If they are tight, do heat them up a little bit with some hot water. Uh, you have your boot cut. And you have your hinge at the feet. Got a pretty good range of motion. At least going backwards and a rocker side to side and here's the first accessory we're going to look at it's going to be her civilian head which I'm always happy to see and this is of Tanya and it's a very beautifully done sculpt looks almost dead on to Nakia Breeze love the molded detail all over the place the paintwork on it is very clean too which I'm very happy to see I'm going to pop her, pop this on her head, and there you go. So me carrying around a severed head. And the first accessory, our other accessory we're going to look at is her other pair of hands, which are martial arts posing hands. So that's really it. So you can do those Zeo poses you see in the show. So nothing else, no chops, no fist. Or anything of that nature. I am knocking things over. All right, and we're going to go ahead and look at her blaster. Get it out of here. Take a closer look at this and get it in focus. So you can see molded in white plastic with some black, red, and gold paint details, which are very nicely done. And of course, it goes into her holster on the side. And on mine, it's a bit tight to fit in. Of course, I'm also trying to do it with one hand for some odd reason. There we go. Not really getting in camera. There we go. Put it like that. Get it to focus. I also focus on my hand more than anything. There you go. And now we'll look at her 
so I think this is their little Zeo sword. Yeah. The Zeo sword. And, and it's fully extended form. They have yet to come out with versions that are fully retracted. Because that's what's supposed to go into her sword holster, but the way they got it, the only way you can put it in here is I knock her over. It is down like like how a normal sword would go into a scabbard just down her hip which is not accurate to the show but unfortunately they have yet to give us the proper ones to go into the holsters which is still a bit of a missed opportunity they could have given us both versions but decided to want to give us the one I mean there's so many other accessories they could have given us with the blaster and that we're going to take a look at the blast effect for her blaster. Now this is like the same blast effect we've gotten with Zeo Ranger 4 green. But I think it's a different color. I know red had one as well. I can't remember which one was a different color. But you got that nice translucent kind of yellowy green plastic. Let's see. Plugs right in. There you go. Just like that. So you can take out those cogs and other monsters. Just blast them away. I do love these blast effects for these guns. They're, I love them. Really nice. And of course we have her nunchucks. And they're on a very, very bendy, pliable plastic. Can't do any real posing or anything with them. But they are very soft. Or the uh, strings are supposed to be. And there you go. All the lovely accessories. Now we're going to take a comparison with the only other Zeo Ranger figure I have, which is the Legacy line from Bandai. As you can see, the scales are quite different. The Legacy line was a 7 inch scale, the Lightning Collection is a 6 inch scale. And there's no contest. The Hasbro one is far better, more realistic, uh, more accurate to the show in design, obviously. And just the proportions are way better on the Lightning Collection version compared to the Legacy. And of course, you know, better paint. Because this had very, Legacy one had very minimal paint. If any, it's more just mustard yellow on them, opposed to gold. Or look at those butterfly joints on the shoulders. You know, our piece of articulation on these figures I always forget to mention. Because they're usually very well hidden, except for on the female figures. Especially on the back. But again, Lightning Collection, far superior than Bandai's Legacy. All in all, this figure is another great addition to your Zeo team, if you have been collecting that team. And, you know, I wouldn't pass up any of the Zeo ones. It was a great season. Kind of felt fall, started to falter a little bit in Turbo. But got its legs back in space. But Zeo was always a fun series for me. And I do miss a lot of those stories. I'll have to re you know, visit and watch again. Definitely pick her up if you can. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment below what was your favorite Zeo episode starring Tanya.